So speaking of quality of software, um, I guess there's, a, there's an advertisement out that suggests some higher quality malware. Sure, I, I hesitate to call any, malware anything but bad software in the first place. Um, but yeah, there was an article, uh, Trustier mentioned that they saw a posting on an underground forum, they didn't say which or by who, uh, stating that there's a new malware family being sold called Kronos. Mm -hmm. And if, those of you who are studied, uh, students of um, Greek mythology will know that Kronos is the father of Zeus, and there's a little mm -hmm. joke in there somewhere, I'm sure. Um, but this is another of your, your banking Trojan type malware. It has a bunch of advanced features, apparently, and I'll get back to that. Uh, sandbox bypass, AV bypass, encrypted command and control. Mm -hmm. So it seems to be fairly sophisticated according to the, the um, advertisement. Comes with a $7,000 price tag. Um, $1,000 to do a, sort of a test run. They set up a server and you play with it for a little while. You know, get your feet wet sort mm -hmm. of thing. Um, but that's all we know so far. We have this original um, advertisement in Russian with mm -hmm. an English translation. And there's been lots of speculation on the web as to, wow, is this a Zeus killer? Is this the next new wave? Right. And it, to me, it feels more like hype, honestly, mm -hmm. because no one, as far as I know, no one in the, the, the good guy community has seen this yet. Right. So as far as we know, it doesn't exist. Although I've heard somebody, I'm not sure who it was, said they took a look at the, uh, the code Oh. And it has a lot of um, a lot of functions and source code that resembles Carburp, so oh. it might be an offshoot of the Carburp family. So is this not the same um, as, as Zburp? Because I've heard of Zburp, which is a Zeus Carburp hybrid that came out. At I some don't point. know if yeah, I'm not sure if it's a hybrid or. But they said there were some some functions in there that looked very Carburp like. Okay, um, interesting. But uh, you know. You know, like you said, myself, I haven't actually seen a sample of this yet. I'd like to, mm -hmm. to kind of get a better feel for what it looks like and how it behaves, uh, especially from a network standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, uh, up until now, we're not really sure other than some hearsay and, right. and people right. advertising in the underground. Well, I think just the conversation you just had here is a very, uh, a very uh, valuable one in the sense that, uh, you know, one of the things we've been saying is that there's very little revolution in malicious activity. And I think this is a pr pretty good example here where even this new advertised thing is suggesting, you know, it's looking like it's perhaps a derivative and perhaps improvements or subtle, maybe maybe more aggressive in some cases, but improvements on something that already exists. Now, obviously we're, we're speculating a little bit here, but obviously uh, it's, a, it's not gonna be completely, completely different. Mm -hmm. right. It's rare that there's revolutionary change in malware and sometimes when we have seen that, that's been really special, like APT type things, mm -hmm. uh, like Flame and things like that, where, you know, it was somebody off on the side working independently that came up with something completely new, versus a lot of this crimeware seems to be very iterative, uh, mm -hmm. for the most part. Okay. So. so, Matt, what else have you been hearing about this? Oh, that's basically everything. Um, ex okay. The, the $7,000 price tag I originally thought was fairly high, but mm -hmm. apparently, um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. There was another family that recently sold somewhere in the 10,000 to 15,000. That's US dollars mm -hmm. range. So it's not unreasonable, but it is um, a bit high in my opinion for a family of malware that is, as far as I can tell, untested. And again, right. I, we've got sort of competing stories here as to what it actually truly is. Mm -hmm. But whatever its lineage is, I think is the more important part. You know, is it good code? Is it you know if it is originally Zeus or, or Carburp, maybe that speaks mm -hmm. to the quality of the code. But also whoever's advertising it on the other ground, if they have their own reputation to go along with it and say, hey, I've right. been here for X number of years, you know who I am and the quality of my product, that also allows them to sell at that rate. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the challenges. That is if you're coming out with a new brand name, in effect, mm -hmm. do you really have a market? That's a, you do, do you have a really br a brand recognition? Or the, and in, in this kind of community, there needs to be a certain amount of trust associated with it because part of the objective here is to be able to uh, run this in, in an environment, not be detected, to be able to be successful doing things in a in a, in some fairly complex ways. So. Uh, Developing some, some trust here is important. I mean, obviously, these people are going to be developing or dependent on that trust to help hide from their criminal activities, right? To, to so, hide from law enforcement, certainly. Right. So that's uh, an aspect of this that it's uh, it's probably not enough just to have a good product. You have to have a reputation and uh, perhaps a stake in the game to some to some extent. Certainly. Right. All right. 
Well, it's uh, certainly good information to know about, hopefully in advance of actually having to experience this problem, and we hope that uh, it doesn't turn into, into fruition in the, long, in the long run here.